Hello everyone. So today we're going to take a look at intraplate activity. So in your Edmodo, you are going to go to the post that says 10 to intraplate activity. We have the link for the reading. We have um, the practice questions and we have my email that you send your responses to. So intraplate activity is stuff that does not happen at the plate boundaries, OK? Happens like in the middle ish of a plate. So. Um, so a lot of the interplate activity is found at what you would call a hot spot. So hot spots are these plumes of hot material that rise through the mantle. OK, hot spot volcanoes are going to erupt um, when the hot material melts to create magma. All right. Um, a lot of hot spots are going to be at a specific position in the mantle and they do not move. What is actually happening is the plates are moving above the hot spots, but the hot spots are staying stationary. OK. So if oceanic plate, if the hot spot is like in the middle of an oceanic plate, one when the oceanic plate moves over the hot spot, it is going to form a chain of volcanoes. OK, so the volcano is going to form over the hot spot. And then um, the plate's going to move and the volcano is going to move off the hot spot and become what you call a dormant volcano, one that is not erupting, one that has no eruptive activity. All right, when the hot spot erupts again, you're going to get a new volcano. And then um, over time, you're just going to get a series of volcanoes with the youngest being directly above the hot spot and the oldest being the farthest away. Now, based on the age of the volcanoes, um, geologists are actually able to find out. They're actually able to find out the direction that the plate is moving. OK, now hot spots can also be beneath continental crust, um, but since continental crust is very thick, um, they're much less common. So there's one exception in Yellowstone's hotspot. Um, the hotspot is very active um, in the past. The hot spot would produce volcanic eruptions, but now we see the activity more in the region's geysers. So make sure you finish your questions and turn them into me.